Hi and welcome. We have a floor plan. We need to distribute some plants, but um, regular cloners and uh, distribution plugins are not flexible enough. Placing the objects manually is too tedious on the other hand, so we need a different approach. I usually like to do the following. I'll change into uh, the top view as we have a perfectly flat surface. I'll add an empty polygon object and cloner object. Change the cloner mode to object and use our empty poly object as base for our distribution. I'll rename the, the cloner to um, cloner hazel. And then we'll drag our hazel tree into this cloner object. Now we need to place our trees. To do so, be sure that the cloner is set to distribution vertex. I don't need uh, an al alignment of our clones. Then select the empty poly object. Be sure to activate move mode, switch to point mode, and then simply control click where you need to place the hazel trees. Next I want to place uh, the ginkgo trees and the oak trees, the green uh, marks on the floor plan. So I'll add those um, plants. I'll just use the search field. Of course we need another cloner object. We need another empty mesh object. Again, switch. Um, I'll change the mode to random later on because we have a uh, second tree. Change the mode to object. Use our empty mesh object. Be sure distribution is set to vertex. We don't need a line clone. And with the empty mesh object selected, simply click into place. Now I've chosen a bigger ginkgo tree. I'll, I should use a smaller variant inst uh, variation instead, so I'm using a younger uh, tree. And now I'll add uh, the second uh, species. Ah, you see, I, I just replaced um, the ginkgo. Uh, that was my fault. Now I'll add the, the ginkgo tree. Be sure to use the young variant and uh, cypress also the young version. So now we see that uh, the cloner is choosing randomly between those different uh, trees. I'll repeat this procedure for the plumeria. So you can see I already created the points for um, the plumeria shrub, the frangipani. Now simply drag the frangipani inside uh, the MoGraph object. Again, I'm using a younger uh, variant. So with a few mouse clicks, you can add all those plants. Be sure that you activate render instance 
for all those uh, MoGraph objects. This saves you a lot of memory uh, during render time. And now you also can make use of an effector, for example, random, effect, random effector. I'll choose um, random scale. and random rotation so this approach combines the advantages you have from manually placing objects but also making use of a cloner object and it's also a lot easier if you have to change something of your distribution let's say we uh, need to use different shrub we simply could replace what we have inside the cloner I'm just using uh, this fur and that's it we are using a fir tree right now can choose a different variant a different age and all is updated um, immediately. This technique also works if your terrain um, is shaped. You just need uh, to activate the snapping. Be sure to activate snapping on polygon. Now I'll simply uh, choose one of those uh, distribution meshes, click into place and you can see that now those um, objects have been placed on the shaped terrain. By the way you also can work in the perspective view if you want to. This of course also works. So that's it. Thanks for watching.